key goals at VizMe is to allow anyone to be able to visualize boring data into engaging content. And to hold true to that, what we have done is recently released the ability to um, create animated or interactive infographics. And this is basically an extension to the existing uh, chart module that we have. So if I go to the chart area here, and I can create a chart. Now, traditionally, uh, the charts were static. And if you notice, each time I click on one of these objects, it automatically animates itself. And uh, we have released a couple different chart types recently, and we're going to be doing more of those in the near future. Now, for the sake of uh, this tutorial, there's already a chart that has been created here, and I can double click at any time to access it. And there's a few variables added in. This is a uh, multi series data, so you can notice that there's columns such as, in this case, this is Europe, Asia, and North America. And on the vertical axis, there's the years 2013, 14, 15, 16. And I can arrange this in any way that I want. Now, automatically, this chart is uh, animated. And the way this works is by default, when you create a chart, it will have its setting set to animation on. And you can easily turn that off if you need to. But by default, all the charts will now be animated. And you can see the interaction in the preview chart here. So this is my preview area, and each time as I make changes, I will be able to see the type of chart I have and type of interactivity that is attached to it. So in the case of the donut and in the case of the pie, they have a similar um, uh, formatting as far as the way they form. And in this case, we're dealing with a dotted chart, and so it automatically decides where to plot the data. And if I go to the shade format, it will do the same thing. So it's a pretty cool way of uh, allowing the user to be able to see the values and kind of see them come together and that really helps with data visualization so there isn't just a purpose of it looking pretty but there is an actual interaction so in this case when this bar charts are forming you your eye can, can go towards the focal point as one of the highest points or maybe the lowest peaks and so that's a way to be able to more easily um, present that information to the user so in the case of the charts you can start with any chart at any time and you can switch to any other chart format that you want. So if I switch to this and if I replace it, it automatically will be a chart. Uh, it is not animated, of course, in this area. This is my editing area. I can move and do what I like. I can, of course, double click and go back and change it to another format. And once I replace it, I can go in and see how it would look on live if it was to be published. Then what I can do is click the preview and in the preview, I can see it come together. And this would be the same way as if I was to publish this. And if you notice, we now have rollover area. So I can literally see the value that is coordinated with that um, chart, in this case, the pie chart. Now let's do a little more customization here. I can double click and go in. And let's go and work with the bar chart and go to the settings. And again, I can change the values to what I want them to be. And then I can go in and start playing with the color formatting and decide what colors I want. So it's pretty helpful to be able to really assign a bright color to the one that you want to show the most. But of course, at the same time, too many bright colors may not look as professional. And what you can do is go in and actually start working with um, data in a format that represents what it should be. And the color charts automatically, the color values as a legend will reflect that. Now, if you notice, I'm rolling over these values, and I can see uh, that the values are, there's a rollover effect. Well, I can turn this on or off. What I can do is go to here, there's a value, and if I turn this value on, then what it will do is it will show those values there. Now, this is a small preview area. I have a hard time reading this, uh, but if I was to go ahead and replace it, then the data would be a little more visible in this case. And I can then decide as far as the coloring and formatting that I want so I can more easily see those variables. And if I was to go to here, then I can see those variables here on that. And the same thing with the other versions. Okay. Now in some of them, you may not see the uh, values. So in this case, automatically the value is on. The reason is, is a, a point-based chart. This is a, uh, there's a lot of dotted values. So imagine if there was 100 values here, it would just get crazy as far as being able to roll over and see which value you're selecting if we were to show the values 
uh, and that's why the value is off. So you can, of course, roll over it and see it, but you will not be able to turn on the value for a very, very good reason. And additionally, of course, these have been covered in other topics where you can customize the title. So in this case, what I can do is perhaps go to white or just completely remove it if I want to. In this case, I'm going to remove this value. And the reason is I'm working with the title here. I've already got the title, so I don't really need to keep that. Now, one of the questions sometimes that comes up is that what happens if my uh, chart is animated and then I go and let's say download this as a JPEG or as a PDF? Well, naturally speaking, uh, in JPEG or PDF, there will not be an animation effect. And what the system does is it will automatically render the very, very last frame. So what you see in the representation when the animation is done is what it will look like when you were to download this as a, uh, perhaps as a JPEG um, or as a PDF and so on. But in the HTML5 download, it will look very similar to the actual preview or the published version where it will be animated in that case. So this covers pretty much the various areas of the animated um, infographics, uh, I'm sorry, the animated charts. Um, the reality is that you really don't have to do anything. It's already on by default. It is really up to you to decide if you want to turn it off or play around with the values. Go ahead and give it a try. Thank you.